reverse the rules if needed switch the cases try not to force reading on your situation right okay gemini let's see what do you need to hear and what's coming up for you regeneration interesting i heard libra energy for you gemini oh there's a never-ending story here there's something which is repeating on and on and on somebody's causing so much conflict in your surroundings you're like what the fuck is wrong with you hmm i see five of wands kind of energy in your surroundings people have different opinions different um yeah there's somebody who's trying to throw a different opinion at you right you are very conflicted in a situation and i'm feeling that you have been there done that before by this pattern by this particular thing i don't know with the specific person or in general maybe with different people but the pattern is same there's something that keeps on repeating and you're like why you know why you hang those questions on your mind but there's a clear sign that this is something that is not new you know that's not something new maybe you are uh, not approaching to the situation in a different way you know if something is repeating in your life sometimes we have to find a different solution to it right gemini let's see what is happening here eight of cups detaching yourself looking for clarity and here something new comes in gemini there's something which is coming towards you this can be a love offer this can be a confession of love or simply somebody is very interested in telling you how they're feeling right can be an aries you're dealing with can be a boss can be somebody who has a very masculine energy and this person has a very stubborn vibe i see they want to confess love or they're trying to confess love here but i don't know this is something which is not very um, appealing to you right now there's some kind of uh, feeling that i need to detach myself and introspect what is wrong here you know i see this week you you can simply or for a lot of you i see this is already happening you're detaching yourself from something because you need some answers you did you, you need some introspection and once that happens i see you're realizing that i need to set boundaries right uh i do see a game changer coming in there's some communication some information or a message that's coming in that's very uh, inspiring i see this is some new inspiration here a new start somebody wants you to look at them in a different light or this can be an altogether new thing but before you analyze this i see you have to sort some things here right and whatever is being offered to you i for someone i heard that somebody is trying to bribe you and you you don't want to have it right you don't want to take it anyways uh there's an energy here that you're detaching yourself for introspection and you're setting such boundaries that till the time i introspect till the time i find myself till the time i find the answers i don't want any bs i don't want anybody intruding into my personal space i need to set boundaries there's something there's something that you're dealing with within you you know i i feel there's something that is happening in your life from and this is like uh this is happening for quite some time now and you're feeling fucked up a little bit you know maybe it's not about a specific person or this is not about your relationship per se but there's something which is a trouble causer here and i see uh, as the time proceeds it's somehow consuming you and you are coming to a point where you will literally embrace your energy and you're going to cut it out right there's a potential here ace of wands there's a new potential coming your way so we have ace of swords yeah honey oh my god okay two of swords ten of cups now i think this week you're going to find a decision which is difficult to make you can you're going to find yourself in a position where you have to decide eight of swords there's somebody who is as confused as you are as fucked up as you are but the only difference is that this confusion is coming from your mind and because you are intentionally avoiding this this is like intentionally avoiding the elephant in the room i fucking don't want to make this decision because i don't know what to do you know and this indecision is you know um how should i say that this is like making this person go crazy you know they are getting consumed in their thoughts too they are feeling blocked and choked too but somehow they feel that i can't do anything my hands are tied because 
till the time Gemini is going to do something, I just can't do anything, you know. This person is feeling dependent over you. They're feeling, you both are blindfolded. If you see this, can you see both, the, both these people, they are having blindfolds on their eyes. But your hands are not tied. You're intentionally blocking your heart because your heart is telling you to just hold back, right? Resistance. So I see that there is a truth in front of you, which probably you're avoiding. For some of you, you have to choose this week. Happiness of the family, togetherness of the connection, long-term abundance or simply just fulfillment, right? And there's a truth. There's something which is going to come out and definitely change the equation. So what are you going to choose? You know, this is very interesting. I see a very similar energy where you are avoiding a decision because, you know, if you pick the truth, if you pick the clarity or if you pick something which is sharp but true, harsh but true, you might feel that the happiness and the stability of me and my family is going to suffer. Other way around, if you choose the happiness, you will have to close your eyes to the truth, close your eyes to something which is which is important, which is harsh but important. So I see you finding yourself in that position and because you are not making the decision, you are going deep inside you to introspect. Somebody has done wrong to you, right? I see somebody has done something to you. Let's see what's going to be the outcome of the situation here. We have nine of cups. Interesting, knight of wands and four of wands. Wow, okay. So, I see a very intelligent decision-making. Wow, okay, Gemini, this is going to be interesting, I'll tell you. We have the chariot here, right? So, I feel here that this week you can be a little puzzled, like for a day or two, I see one day, two day energy here. You're going to find yourself a little puzzled. But you know what? I see what matters you the most is your happiness and stability. And I think you're working over it. Four of Wands is a beautiful energy. Four of Wands is the energy where you are... Yeah. Uh, you're choosing happiness. <laughs> Nine of Cups is interesting energy. It's wish fulfillment, right? But can you see this interesting thing here? The curtain. I think you're ready to conceal something. I think you're ready to hide some things. This person is happy and satisfied. They know a lot has happened behind the curtain. But sometimes for the broader happiness and long-term good, you have to neglect some things which are small, minute, or maybe temporary, right? I see that's what you're doing. Ace of Swords is temporary energy, right? It's sword, very short-term air energy. And this Nine of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, Cups are long-term energy. You know, they are emotions, they are happiness, they are fulfillment. So what you're choosing here is happiness. And I see you finding something exciting. You're finding something inspirational. Maybe in the beginning you're planning to avoid it for some time. I see the idea is already there. But you, found, you are finding yourself a little confused that whether I should be accepting that idea or not. And eventually you are. You're holding that wand and you're going out crazy and you're loving it. You know, I see this week, this is a small glitch. This is a small get, glitch. You will have to make a decision. And I think whatever decision you're making, you're finally ending up in a very good place. So, wow, I'm loving this energy though. <laughs> Let's clarify. Let's clarify. I do feel that you're brushing the, uh, some truth, some something you're brushing under the rug and you are hiding and concealing some things here because what's in front of you is beautiful right and i think you're on your horse hopping towards stability outcome is beautiful gemini outcome is very beautiful let me see what is what is uh, causing you here to take you take a break and introspect hermit yeah i see a lot of questions on your mind this can surround a virgo energy I see a lot of questions on your mind. So what is this new inspiration coming in? Ten of Pentacles. It's about family. It's about stability. I don't know. This is about your kids, your future, your current family, happiness of the family, long-term stability. But whatever it is, it's beautiful. I see you doing things. You know, I see some kind of faithfulness and commitment to the family. And I see you making a decision to actually avoid some small things 
because it's about the long term stability of you and your kids your family your loved ones and it's going to be worth it you know with this energy on the table four of wands as the outcome i see it's going to be worth it what is it? oh see what do you have to choose you have to choose something between nine of wands nine of cups and death coming out see nine of cups twice here right you might have to accept a transition and death is showing me that this is actually a big change for you because you are within you you can feel it you can feel it because this truth had the capacity to somehow impact your happiness what is this truth let's see what is this truth page of pentacles i see there's an idea or clarity here king of swords this can surround gemini oh my god okay yes king of swords king, queen of swords i see this truth has the capacity to initiate an argument or a conflict between you and your partner or maybe you dealing with somebody right and you planning instead of yeah nine of swords six of swords you're keeping awake and you are thinking about this energy what if this clarity comes out how things are going to turn around gemini libra where is energy in your surroundings for some of you this is about some money matter maybe you have given money to somebody or you are you've taken money from somebody or something surrounding money idea or an offer right the truth is that you you choosing your happiness and not just your happiness the happiness of your family stability of your family and this is probably requiring you to change something from the scratch accept the change death is showing me a transition from within i'm also picking up that it changed within you after this incident or after this energy because i'm picking up that in past if this would have happened you would have reacted in a very different way but something has changed within you and now how you're reacting to this thing or this truth or this something is very different wow okay what is this king of swords queen of swords okay just one more card and then we're going to wind up the reading yeah chariot see you're moving to four of wands under the deck again i see there's a change in wind gemini and this is happening on your part you're giving up on small details or small things you know that if you go by the details or you go by the facts something requires to be released or something requires uh, an argument questioning confronting somebody or something or something right this is going to lead to a conflict this is going to lead to a chaos right but what you feel here is that if i deal with the situation in a repeated pattern it is going to be a never ending story right if i say something to this person today i'm going to get a retaliation and it's going to just go on and on and on so instead of just you know reacting to something you're choosing a better path you're choosing the part of path of compromise you're choosing the path of stability and you're definitely finding the path here with the chariot and you have no idea how much stability and how much happiness i see in your future because you are choosing to do things differently this time my god this is crazy okay <laughs> a very very different energy i don't know who this person is this can be a virgo this can be uh for some of you i see this as a family matter right this is not love per se but this is stability of the overall stability of the family is at stake let's see what is the situation what can be the outcome gemini you're going to be very very happy that's that's something i'm picking up whatever you're deciding so instead of uh, just scratching the um surface of the situation you're going in depth and changing the thing you know for some of you i actually heard that instead of just fighting over the nitty gritties and fighting over the small details you're actually changing something from beneath and that's going to have a very deep impact right wow beautiful energy beautiful energy okay gemini so what do you need to hear what's what's coming towards you in the situation at the end i see beautiful stability and a new direction that you're finding for a pentacles control for some of you i'm picking up that if this was a money matter you're able to find yourself in the position of control again right crossroads two of swords yeah in the middle of the week i see you're going to find yourself at the crossroads at the position where i don't know what to do you know whether to choose the details or choose the happiness wow so what else 
Yeah, two of swords is not going away and eight of pentacles perfection. But eventually I see your decision is going to be a decision of perfection. Instead of just fighting over the details and confronting somebody just to prove yourself right or, you know, other way around, you're working over the perfection. I don't know, you're just doing something from a place where things can actually restore to balance and things can change. Wow. Very mm, interesting energy. Let's have a card of advice for Gemini. I know I've been getting very abstract messages for you lately. Very abstract messages for you, Gemini. See, we have the world. A brilliant success. Yeah, I see your decision here. It's going to take some time for you to contemplate the thing and finally come to a decision. But whatever you decide, my God, it's going to be a success. And it, it's happening from the ground level. A time of a joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. And I'm actually getting that vibe that you're going to be very happy and you're going to be proud of yourself or whatever, you dis whatever decision you're making, right? We have renewal. Re reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness time to head in a new direction clarity on your life's purpose in your heart you know what to do so wow it's going to be a total transition in your life with the death card hermit card i feel that whatever was distracting you a total new direction is coming out and you're going to be a fresh energy this time something is going to be different this time you know if you feel it's a never-ending story it will never change no i see this time things will change Right, Gemini, so this is what I have for you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.